Welcome back to your town and our particular uh, segment, which is called The Arts Are the Answer, where every month we explore the many ways in which the arts are really transforming our lives and making everything better for people in some sort of a way and throughout Monterey County. Today, I'm especially thrilled to be talking with Will Bullis, who is a marvelous artist and has so much great experience and is willing to be involved with the community in so many different ways that a number of years ago, he, uh, we selected him as our luminary for our Champions of the Arts Gala. And um, we're going to really focus in, zero in today on all aspects of the arts and economic vitality, economic vibrancy, very, very broadly defined. In addition to talking with Will, we'll be talking with Bernice House about cultural groups and their contributions to the vibrancy and vitality of our area, and with Katya Sems from Dali 17 Museum. Uh, so we're really going from the, the oldest, one of the oldest museums and galleries to eventually we'll be talking uh, with one of the newest and everything in between. It's just a really exciting time to be part of the arts in Monterey County. And it's very exciting for me today to be talking with Will Bullis. Well, thank you so, so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure to be here and to see you again. So let's talk about the Carmel Art Association. Can you get people situated on where exactly it is and and what it really looks like as they approach, because even the approach to the gallery is so beautiful. Well, we are uh, certainly not your typical gallery in Carmel or in any city anywhere. Um, we arguably are the oldest artist-owned and operated gallery in the United States. Uh, we began our. That's such uh, an honor for us. I oh, mean, that's amazing. Well, I think I think so, definitely. It's Great. certainly an honor to be a member of that organization, let alone be president of the organization. Yeah. The um, uh, uh, organization, the Carmel Art Association, was founded in 1927 uh -huh. uh, by a group of artists who uh, uh, originally started out in the San Francisco Bay Area uh, who would come down on vacation and paint on the Monterey Peninsula. Well, they decided this was a great place to even come and live, so they all Certainly. had homes and bought uh -huh. homes, studios and so on, but they also decided in 1927 they needed a place to show their artwork, okay, mm -hmm. because uh, um, they did believe then, as I firmly believe now, that we artists are creators and we create to show other people yeah. and show our works. Uh, uh, and it, uh, all of us feel that within, si uh, within us. And today is a, where we have come after so 90 years. Today, uh, August is our celebration month, and so we've celebrated 90 years. That's uh, amazing. With a, with a brand new publication uh, that we've come out uh, this year, and we're, we're so pleased with that. Uh, some wonderful dynamics That's happened beautiful. within the Carmel Art Association. In 1934, we made a bid. We, I wasn't there, obviously. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't show. But in 1934, the Art Association made a bid on a piece of property. Okay. okay. It's on Dolores Street yep. between 5th and 6th, mm -hmm. okay? Right uh, near the post office. Uh, right near the post office in the core of downtown by Mel. <laughs> and we, But we also, also owe so much to Monterey. So sure, many sure. of our members are, uh, because our membership comes within a 35-mile radius. But uh, uh, on Dolores Street between 5th and 6th, there was this wonderful piece of property, okay, and which today is still there in a historical building, and we are still there. Uh, the big difference between 1934 and today is today we own the building, okay, and the property. It's ours, which uh, is a very rare thing in, in uh, Carmel because we are not landlords, okay. We is are that why you were able to make some changes uh, to make it more accessible recently, well, somewhat recently? Uh, absolutely. Because you have control. But, yeah, we have total control, okay. We uh, hire staff. We rarely, but we do fire staff on occasion. But uh, it's a uh, it's an involvement that has happened over many years, ninety years. That's turned into, and we're still fine tuning it. It was turn, turned into an absolutely wonderful organization of about eighty active members. That's amazing. Um, That's a lot. It is. It, it really is. And to keep those those cats or bats or however you want to <laughs> refer to it, in, not not in line, but all fluttering in the same area, yeah. uh, has been uh, not a challenge so much, but as a uh, a need and a want. Okay, because unlike the so-called I hate, hate using terms like commercial galleries, but unlike commercial galleries. We have the great advantage of not only having the property and being able to do whatever we want to with it. Every month, the first Wednesday of every month, we install a brand new show from our active artist membership. Uh, that's amazing it, it rapidity. Is. I mean, how do you how do you manage to do well, it every single month? Every month comes around after, really after very fast. After ninety years, we have fine tuned this. <laughs> you know, it's become uh, it's it's become an art form for us. In fact, yeah. We refer to it as an Olympic sport. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> the artists come together. We have out of our membership, including the in, always inclusive with the board of directors, our 15 member board, mm -hmm. uh, are the people who take care of uh, hors d'oeuvres, pouring wine, the kitchen. And this all rotates, so it's not the same, but people don't get the same job. Because in addition to having the art and putting that all mm -hmm. up, you also welcome the whole community to come. There's a reception every single time, right? Every single time. That first Wednesday, we rehang the entire gallery. So, And we rely so much on our visitors, okay, that come to the Monterey Peninsula, whether it's here for a function. Mm -hmm. And we are so lucky uh, in the fact that we have functions year-round, you yeah. know, whether it's Jazz Festival, Bach Festival, uh, Laguna Seca, etc. It brings in people from all over the world. So and they pop in. Whatever they're doing, they they're going to pop in. They pop, pop, in, in, they and pop in. And no matter when, and, and over so many years we've made friends with yeah. internationally. Uh, they come and back They again come and back again, again huh? and again. Yeah. And the way we welcome them is, particularly with that opening uh, reception, which is the Saturday following that first uh, mm -hmm. uh, ins installation of brand new work, they come in and within the past oh, five or six years, I have been at the front door saying, welcome, yes, you're in the right place, yes. come on in and have some wine. Okay, They'll come in, have a glass of wine, uh, some uh, hors d'oeuvres that our, our staff and, and uh, board of directors put together. It's always wonderful and fun because each each um, uh, 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 one of the members of the board of directors kind of takes their turn at who's in charge of the kitchen. Okay, oh, and So there's always new hors d'oeuvres. We that may that have that pure vegetarian one time sure, and another sure. time it'll be like a small meat market, but, uh, but it's a delightful change so there's always something new and something different. Music is, every time? M music just about every time. We have artist members who have sons, uh, daughters who play music and so on, then some members, uh, uh, some uh, uh, musicians among our organization of active artist members who play. Uh, Ann Downs and her husband, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Anna's yeah, a sculptor, amazing. she's yeah. an artist and she's a wonderful, <laughs> uh, um, Celt I think primarily Celtic music yes. type stuff. So it's deal. absolutely delightful. <laughs> so we have, we have a whole variety of things and within that organization of about a, oh, 80 active members, we have people who are terrific at, at assembling layout and so on. And it's, sure, it's not sure, our sure. mission to uh, eradicate middlemen, okay, but there's so much that we can do on our own, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. and we know we have the power, we have the tools, and uh, thank goodness for today's technology because we are aware of the technology and we put it to great use, okay, so we are able to put out our, our yearly uh, catalogs uh, of all of our artists, uh, which is a great thing, and the special publications, so we can do everything in-house now. What are your hours? How can somebody come in and grab one of these beauties? Too? Okay, these are these uh, little the catalog. catalogs are free to the public. Wow. You just walk in and get your free catalog. Uh, we are open 11 to 5. I was just going to ask you, 11 to Every 5. Every day, okay. Uh, no exception. Uh, all year long, long uh, except major holidays, I think Christmas and New Year's, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. Uh, St. Swithin's Day is off the list, so you're welcome to come then. Uh, Arbor Day, we're open, so, uh, you know, the, the lesser holidays. <laughs> We all celebrate Arbor Day. Yeah, yes, so, so that is really extraordinary. So, tell me some more. So, you have okay. So, in addition to the exhibits and the uh, receptions and everything, you're also doing other things: art demonstrations, film series, lectures. There are so many things that it's not just for your members that you maybe it, you have the members in mind, but you well, keep embracing the community to come on in and be a part of we're things. We're very Isn't much right? aware of our nonprofit status, mm -hmm. okay? and within that, our mission is to give back to the public and, the, and to the community, whether they live here because they always know what to expect. Yep. We're uh, uh, just several blocks from the Cherry Foundation, okay, yes, who is right. an, uh, an equally wonderful organization. We're uh, uh, not that far from the Arts Council, okay. Yeah. So there is this cross pollination where uh, we don't try to duplicate what each other has done, but we've got a different offering for them. And so you actually, if you're coming for the summer, okay, or you live here on the Monterey Peninsula, and particularly some of our older um, uh, uh, fans and members and visitors, okay, whether it's from the Carmel or the Monterey Foundation or whatever, they know there's something going on. They put it in their schedule. And we try to maintain that continuity uh, throughout the year. So when, when we, and obviously our anniversary month in August, okay, that's always August. So we always have a, a miniature um, uh, a raffle going on, some things that are exciting. So there's always that community uh, uh, draw that yeah. we count on, but we are, are also aware of our international draw, okay? Yeah. And with the years of being patient and bringing in our best and finest works, uh, it has resulted in international friends, uh -huh. And word of mouth internationally. We're in international publications. That's um, people, uh, visitors from Tokyo, you know, say, "Well, oh, I saw you in the latest. You know what to do when yeah. you're in Carmel and so on." And that's what you want. It's a yeah. long-term investment, okay? But it's such a uh, high-profile, benevolent uh, uh, place to be, without a doubt. So, so let's talk about you. Um, this is not something that you need in in your professional life. 
what is it that draws you, what drew you first to the Carmel Art Association and what in the world has compelled you to take a leadership role over and over and over well, again? <laughs> well, it's, it, it's like, I, th I think it's like anything and it's, for me it's very personal, okay. Um, this is the way I make a living, okay. I've been out of work for 40 years, okay. <laughs> Actually, I tell people I'm between jobs, I'm holding out for upper management, so if you hear of anything, let me know. But it's become very personal to, to me, my lifestyle, uh, my family's lifestyle. Uh, my wife has, has not only been my partner for 45 years, but also my business partner for sure. 45 yeah. years. Um, and we artists have access in the tools with today's technology. And I tell my fellow artists that there isn't anything we can't do in any place we cannot go. Yeah. And let's go together. Wow. And if they need leadership, I love stepping into that role of leadership. You know, follow me. You know, the water is not that deep. <laughs> you know, it's not that deep and it's You're not so that cold. You're so encouraging. Yeah. Well, it, 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 there's a lot to be encouraged about. Yeah. You know, we live in this golden window of opportunity with technology. In fact, we live in this golden window called life, okay? Yeah. And realizing that it's only so big, okay? Um, uh, but passing on what works and what doesn't work and not being afraid to be wrong, mm -hmm. let's explore this together. And at the same time, what can we do for my fellow man? The first time yeah. I met uh, Jane Goodall, she asked me, uh, or I asked her, I said, how do you decide where you're going to give and what you're going to do? She yeah. says, look down at your feet, see where you're standing, start there. Wow. And That's then beautiful. move. You know, <laughs> uh, it, the woman's amazing, obviously. Um, but, uh, and I thought, okay. Uh, I'm a member of the Art Association. I have been since 1980. Yeah. And then when I do the thing on my fingers, that's a long time. Eddie. Okay, and I've got to know so many of these people. Uh, we've lost so many wonderful artists, sure. okay, but that's part of that golden window, okay. <laughs> and to take advantage of that while we can is, is, is heartfelt to me. It's, it's morally right for me. It's one of those things that I have to do. It's part of my life. Uh, it shows in my work, I think, and the, even though the majority of my work is humorous. But the serious angle of my work has, has garnered me the uh, um, uh, signature memberships in the American yes, Water Color Society, yeah. the yeah. National Water Color Society. I was unbeknownst to me, except by, for a letter I got in the mail, elected to membership with the Knickerbocker Artists of mm -hmm. New York, mm -hmm. uh, which is a wonderful society of artists, yeah. uh, illustrators, and so. And you, you take those, you know, good things come. Be aware of them, take advantage of them, and if you can spread that around, and my, I have some fellow artists that dive right into it and say, you know, what you told me is gangbusters, okay, this, this works, and I think this is a good direction to go. And people gather to the flame, okay? If it's mm -hmm, warm, mm -hmm. they gather to that. My wife raises uh, 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 Japanese quail, okay? And they have to be oh kept goodness. under a light bulb for a certain <laughs> amount of time. And they all gather together. Yeah. And they're the cutest things ever. <laughs> yeah, and they are. And, and there's, there, are, there is certainly strength in numbers. Yeah. And my, the art association, I want to call it my association. It is. It is it's our association. <laughs> realizes the strength in numbers. And everybody yeah. doing a little bit to accomplish one goal. And we do that every month, every year, and have done that for 90 years now. And your membership is growing, or the, the people who come uh, to, to visit with you, or is that number is growing all the time, is that right? Amazingly, and in leaps and bounds. Um, because it's, it's like anything, you, you know, you spread that good word, that good will, not only by the artwork you show, but your attitude. And, the uh, um, artists in, in, in previously, many years ago, were sequestered, okay, and the gallery owners or the agents kept the artists separate from the clients, and so, and there was this mystery, okay. And now, uh, with our monthly uh, artist reception and gathering, you can come in and meet that artist who painted that wonderful painting, okay. And you could do that, so, because your hours are so long and you're there all the time, very reliably, it's not like you had to find out, oh, what's the one day they're open. Oh, yeah, um, exactly. So, so, if somebody were to encounter something that they just absolutely love, but it's kind of in the chaos of the, the reception. It's so fun, but it's just, you know, for some people it's like a little much to also be choosing a painting to purchase at the same time. So they're gonna wanna circle back, oh, right? For sure, so for sure. um, do you find that people will do that over a period of time, just kind of come back and say, you know, be thinking about this? Because I, I find too that sometimes there's a, there's a, a work and, and I can't get it off of my mind and mm -hmm, then I know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that that's what I have to well, there's figure a, there's out. There's a really amazing dynamic that happens within this is because of our uh, rehanging the entire gallery mm -hmm. okay, every month. Okay. 
we have a very friendly, okay, but very uh, rigid competition between each other. You know, <laughs> like, uh, I painted that picture. You'll get fellow artists say, "Oh, I really like that this uh -huh. month. You know, that's uh, that's terrific, great." And then uh -huh. you come back and say, well, "That's something you wait till you see next month's painting." Uh -huh. And it's that type of very friendly competition because each of us want to be the best in our own category, that's okay? Wonderful. And I think we achieve that, and you will see whether it's our printmakers, oil painters, yeah. sculptors, and it's just one of those things that keeps building on itself. And then when you get the clientele who venture in, and it's it's amazing because I almost always am at the front door, okay, welcoming, greeting people in yeah. because I know the value of, am I in the right place? Come on in, you're in the right place. Welcome to the Carmel Art Association. Good to see you, you know. And, it, and most, and a lot of times, I'll say, good to see you again. And they say, well, I've only been here. This is my first time. And I say, well, you, you can only be ha you can only be half wrong, you know. So I think the odds are on my side. Um, and if someone comes in and they don't necessarily speak English or, the, or fluent sure, English, you can yeah. tell them, come on in, and the smile works wonders, okay? And, and, uh, and, and they will come in, and then they feel, oh, this is comfortable. There's a lot of other people in here. And that builds on itself, and you can feel the friendliness within that, okay? And that there are no uh, <clears throat> taboos. Uh, if I come in and I spend some time with a painting, somebody's not going to jump on me or whatever. Yes, and it's, move along. It's a whole, <laughs> yeah, please move along. You know, <laughs> we, we have, excuse me, we have another tour group coming in in an uh, hour, right, so right. Uh, not like a, a, a restaurant, and I believe me, I've been in a restaurant with another couple at one time, and they actually came to the table and said, <coughs> could we get you folks to move along? We have to turn this table over, you know. <laughs> But we have a great deal of patience, and the artists are learning that type of patience. And they're just neat, wonderful people. Most of them have been members forever. I've been since 1980, brought in, brought in by a, a gentleman, Miguel Dominguez, who's been a member since 1972, I believe. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it's, it's one of those things where long-term patience, realizing that this is a long-term investment, mm -hmm. um, it comes back in, in, in spades, for sure. And, and everybody feels the, the rewards of that. Uh, so what if people want to be, become a member? There's a juried process, right? We just have about a minute left. <coughs> Let's say somebody is listening and uh, is really feeling like they're pretty close. What do they have to do to become or to try to become a member? It's a, uh, sorry to say, it's a brutal process. Okay? <laughs> There's so many wonderful artists on the Monterey sure. Peninsula that are not necessarily members of the Carmel Art right, Association. Right. We've had members uh, who have been trying for many, many years, over and over. We, usually in April, we have a call for um, okay. uh, 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 artists. They come in uh, and they uh, pick up a form, fill out the form, uh, and they uh, drop it off by a certain date. <clears throat> we look at all the work online, okay? Uh -huh. Then the finalists get brought in for interviews and to talk more about their artwork. So we try to get a little more personal with those individuals. And we're fine-tuning our process sure, every sure. time. But uh, there are a couple dynamics involved, okay, one of which we are landlocked, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only so much wall space, you know, right. unless we insist that everybody paints only this big, you know, yeah. and, you got, and we have artists that paint some very large pieces. So it's, it gets brutal on that end. And then finally we bring in artists, and sometimes it'll be one artist, sometimes it'll be half a dozen. And that's not easy, and uh, I've made it a point that uh, to talk to everybody who was rejected and say, not this time, but try again. I know it's, it's well, tough. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, Will, but um, thank you so much again for being with us. And thank you for your amazing leadership. Um, the Carmel Art Association is definitely what we're really talking about when we talk about the arts of the answer. Mm -hmm for that vitality, for meaning in our lives, and also for all that economic vibrancy, bringing people in, moving them around, and doing it again and again and again, every month, every day, every year. That's what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you.